All right, we are finally, finally in, right? So, okay, so we're gonna be using AWS App Studio, which is in preview mode. Let's click on that. Something we didn't look into the other, like earlier, was the pricing of it. Uh, do they have it here? So let's do this real quick. AWS App Studio pricing. Because let's say you didn't want to use this, right? You, you do want to understand the, how the pricing works for this, right? Because nothing's free. So um, there are two pricing dimensions based on how you use the service. The builder is free. You can access the, the App Studio visual building environment to create, test, and manage apps for free. Published applications, so that means like once you say, yes, this is ready to use, is 25 cents per user per hour. You'll be charged on your consumption for the published app on of 25 cents per user per hour. So if you have five users using your application and each of them use it for five hours, then that is going to be, um, we'll, we'll do four. Let me make simple math, right? Four users, is, um, they use it for four hours. So it's going to be per user per hour is going to be four. It's going to be 25 cents times four, which is going to be uh, $1. And they use it for four hours is going to be four. Um, it's going to be one times four. It's going to be $4 altogether, right? Uh, we offer a 60-day trial or 250 hour um, free user hours, you know? So uh, pricing example, month one, the builder is zero. The free trial is zero. Month two, zero, zero. And then month three, if you have app A with three users for two hours for 12 days, is going to be is going to be eighteen dollars for the month, right? So that, and that's what I was saying to uh, earlier. Your car with the pricing is um, because it's like an internal app. So if you have three users internally using it for two hours for twelve days um, for whatever work they're doing, it's going to cost you eighteen dollars. However, that eighteen dollars might be a lot. It's going to be a lot cheaper than if you had to bring somebody in externally to build this for you or and stuff like that, right? Uh, let's see month uh this is another example app a is um five users for one hour for 10 days 20 um at 25 cents uh an hour plus app b for five users two hours at 10 days is going to be 37.50 all right so just wanted to highlight that real quick uh all right where are we app studio not that one oh, we got that one uh all right so let's go into here Do I have a sign? Oh my God, I'm about to freaking sign in. All right, we are in App Studio. And we might have to go to part, we might, we might have to do another show on this because we are we are in here now. We are in here. Um, let's see. So there's creating connectors, not sure what the connectors are. Uh, all applications. Let's say you create app. Let me see. Aurora Connector, uh, build your first app. Uh, there's a video on building your first app, which you can probably look at that. Um, let me see. Let's see how long this video is. 34 minutes. What? All right. Might have to watch that on my own. But uh, watch the tutorial to help you build an app end to end. Maybe I'll watch that over the weekend and then we will. Um, implement that next week. But let's look around. Let's look around. Uh, let's see. All applications, Builder Hub, My Applications. Let's see. Let's click around and see what's going on. Create connectors. So if you want to connect to uh, Amazon database, uh, other AWS services, S3. Open API connector. Uh, probably can use that to connect to a Mongo database, probably. All right, let's go back to admin. Say so we go to create app. Um, let's see, generate an app with AI. Let's start with that. Let's start with that, right? Let's go with. Eight. All right, let's call it. Um, so I did get an idea. So your car and I were talking earlier about what kind of app we would build. And then I was also watching another video that your car sent me. And I thought about this, right? I thought about this for, give me a second here. Let me see if I can find out the, 
the position, right? Let me see. Where is this? Uh, so, so, what was this called? Mm, where did I find this thing? Let's see, let's see, oh, I can't find it. It was a pretty good title, but pretty much, pretty much. What if you work in collections, right? What if you work in collections and you want to track the amount of um, collection calls that you make, you know, debt collector, and um, you want to track and the, the result of that call, whether they had paid the money, they hung up on you, or they, or they, they put on a... Um, a PIP, a payment improvement plan, not a performance, but a payment improvement plan, right? So let's say we're going to call this a uh, debt, or is it TCR, debt collection live stream, all right? And we're going to say generate with an app with AI. See, let's see how easy this is, right? Select connector. Um, I guess we'll go with this one. I don't have any connectors. I don't have any tables either. Why do so? Ooh, so we need to, so. This is the first part that's going to be tricky because you're going to need a data source, and we don't have any data sources yet. So maybe we're going to have to go and create a FCC a loan chart. Uh, that's oh, so this is so this is the first thing, right? We're going to need a data source. So someone who's going into this, where do you get your data from? Right, so let's skip. Oh, we can skip. We can skip. Let's skip. Let's skip. Let's skip. Right. So setting up our session. Setting up our session. Let's see. The gears are moving. The gears are moving. Oh, there's some sample projects. They have some sample projects in here. Let's see what we got in here. Claims management, claims management system, IT, uh, asset inventory tracker. All right, let's go with this, right? So uh, let's see. So I am, I work in collections. I work in collections. I need a way to track the calls that I make and categorize, categorize the results of those calls. I want to log the time that I make those calls Usually, uh, the, the person, I work in debt collection, usually the person that owes us money hangs up on me, but rarely they pay up. Sometimes they ask to be put on a payment improvement plan. All right. So uh, let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. We're going to go for it. We're going to go for it. All right. We're going all in. We're going all in. Let's see what happens. So, so far, it says analyzing your prompt and don't refresh the page. Your app requirements are ready for re review. Generating an app, generating app overview from requirements, please wait. All right, so requirements. As a debt collector, I need to be able to log. I, I was reading that. All right, so let's go. Uh, log all calls made to debtors, including uh, 
date, time, debtor information and outcome, categorize call outcome, paid, hung up, payment plan, etc. Record payment plan details if a plan was negotiated. View a list of all log calls when, um, with filtering and sorting capabilities. Update existing call logs if needed. User flow. User navigates to the call log. Uh, user clicks on add the add, uh, add new call button. User enters the debtor information. Uh, user selects call outcome from a dropdown. Paid, hung up, payment plan. If the outcome is a payment plan, user enters the, pay the payment plan details. User clicks save the call, um, save the, to log the call. The call log table displays all call, all logs calls uh, with columns for data information. Yeah, yeah, yeah. User can filter the table by outcome, date range, etc. User can click on a call entry to view full Lunch details. Break. Lunch break. It was just getting so good. All right. Or well, I'm gonna, you know what? We're gonna finish just reading this and then we'll see what happens, right? Uh, so user can filter the table by outcome. User can click on a call entry to view details or update the call log, right? Data sources, so the table would be ID, debtor name, account name, or account number, call date, outcome, it's an enum, pay, so the, the three options that we have, uh, payment plan amount, a decimal for, for numbers, uh, payment plan frequency is gonna be a string, might be a string, I guess it would be a string, and the payment plan, sorry, that's pretty cool. All right, that's pretty cool. Your car, what do you think? Mitch, what do you think? Uh, Ferris, what do you think about this, right? Just app, what do you think about this? This is pretty cool. Uh, so the app overview. App summary, the debt collection app is a web-based application designed to manage and track call logs related to the debt collection activities. The app allows users to view, add, and use, and update call logs. All right, so we read that, key features, usage, all right, cool. Um, here's the thing, right? I am tempted to say we're gonna end the stream right here, but, I can't do that to myself. I want to know what happens if I click on generate app. So I'm going to click generate app, right? Let's see what happens. Generate app. It says your app is ready. Your app is ready. Let me, let's, let's, let's watch this real quick. Let's watch this. Welcome to AWS app studio a new generative AI powered service to build mission critical apps on AWS. Within App Studio, you'll find three core sections, pages, automations, and data, which serve as the foundational building blocks for creating your app. To model your app's data, you'll create entities representing different data types and add fields that describe the data. Next, build visual pages, the UI front end of your app, such as admin panels, dashboards, and forms. Choose from a variety of pre-built components for the perfect user experience. Then, create intelligent automations, rules, workflows, and actions that define your app's business logic. Finally, preview your app to test it, and once ready, publish it with just a click of a button. With AI assistance, building powerful apps is easy. Explore App Studio today to unlock new possibilities for your organization. All right, we are gonna preview the app because I wrote like two sentences. And it came up with a bunch of requirements and a bunch of uh, like the user, the use cases and all that, right? Let's preview the app. Let's preview. If this is the first time opening or reopening your app, all right, we didn't read see that. So we have the call table, call log table, the ID, the debtor ID, the call date, outcome, payment plan, uh, monthly, bi-weekly, payment uh, start date. Um, the outcome, the C2 must be hanging up on you. Uh, let me see, view. I don't know what C2 is, What's, what is that outcome? So let's go to add a, call, add a log and I'm gonna say uh, ID, dead or ID. What is the ID for the call? Why would I, I shouldn't have, to, this should be auto assigned. I'll, I'll say that, right? But uh, let's say, so this should be auto assigned, but you know, that can be configured. Um, let's see, debtor ID. Uh, I was supposed to be able to put their name in there though. I don't want to go by the ID. Call date, I would want the, I would also want the, the this to be like 
pre-filled in. And all right, so let's go with this, right? I'm just going to put um, Mitch got my money. And call date is going to be, let's go with 0, 2024, 0, 07, 11. And output ID, Mitch hung up on me. G2, what is my that? Payment plan, zero, uh, zero. Oh, so this one has the date on there. Why didn't that one have the date on there? That's interesting. But that's stuff we can configure. Like we can probably figure that out with a with a GUI. Uh, but let's say uh, I don't know, whatever. Uh, and if we submit, go back to the call log. What? You see that? You see that? Now, there's some there's some stuff that we can do to this to make it a lot better. But uh, I like the fact that we already have, um, like, we're able to do this already, you know? Um, so here's what we're going to do. Here's what we're going to do. We are going to... We're going to continue. We're going to pick up on this next week. We're going to pick up on this next week because this is really cool. I'm, I'm, kind of, I'm kind of impressed by this, I must say. All right? But we're going to see how we can get the, this UI to be a little bit better so that we don't, like, I would want to, I want to see the name of the person. I can't do nothing with their ID, you know? Maybe we need something to have a, like, to add a user to the database and just, instead of just a call, a call log, right? But, but... This is something. This is something. So anyways, anyways, let's go back to full screen. So, um, yeah. If you enjoyed the fascinating information shared in this video and you want more, be sure to hit the subscribe button to Tech Coach Ralph to be notified for new videos.